When LAPD officers were called to a Sun Valley warehouse, they were told it was a break-in. But when they arrived, they found evidence of an illegal marijuana growing operation. And then their investigation found something even more unsettling. This LAPD media release states an LAPD employee has been identified as being affiliated with the warehouse. But what the department failed to say is that the employee in question is one of its top officers. Eyewitness News has learned it's Captain Philip Smith of LAPD's Rampart Division. It is a real surprise. Business owners in this industrial area tell us crime has always been a big problem here once the sun sets and workers go home. I'm very curious to see what's in the end. Hopefully they will get it because uh, it's illegal. But late this afternoon, we were able to reach Captain Smith through email. He denies any involvement in the cultivation operation and says he's the one who called police. Quote, I notified LAPD of the crime they investigated and it led to an illegal marijuana grow. The rest is the department doing its due diligence, conducting an investigation to ensure there was no impropriety on any LAPD employee's part. I can truly say I had no knowledge of any illegal marijuana grow or any involvement in it. But the timing of today's news release is now in question. The break-in that sparked the investigation happened October 31st, a month ago. Now, LAPD isn't saying why it's taken so long for them to release the information about this case. In fact, they aren't saying much at all. They've refused our request for an interview, won't even answer any additional questions we have. LAPD's Gang and Narcotics Division, as well as Internal Affairs, both involved in the investigation. Until it's ironed out, the department says Smith will remain assigned to home. In Sun Valley, Rob.